Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here, and in today's feature, we're going to show you my desk. Um, mainly because I've seen a lot of you guys posting on the Facebook group about your workstations, and I wanted to share my own one with you guys. Uh, mainly because I love giving and sharing tips. So let me know in the comments below whether you have any tips for my workspace. So let's start. The table is the real ground stone of this one. Uh, we picked it up for about 50 quid on Facebook Marketplace. Um, now that's just a local one, um, but it actually would, uh, has done us really, really well. Uh, it actually originally was meant to be the um, table for eating, but it slowly turned into my desk. Many apologies to Becca for that. Um, but it actually has grown into becoming uh, a much loved item in the house, for me that is. Um, the FlexiBot standing desk is the bit that stands on top. Um, I've eventually removed the keyboard stand on it. Um, this is priced about 300 bucks, but I'll include the pricing and all of the information in the description below. But this standing desk just sits on top of an existing desk and basically can be pulled up and down to change the different heights, which makes it so much easier. Now, moving on to the back of things. Um, I've recently installed LED lights. Well, actually, it's just a strip that goes around. It was about seven pound in, in the UK and it just runs around the back and I can change and modify the color on it. So I really like the deep blues, mainly because it gives me quite relaxation when I'm working. Now it plugs into my Mac and actually is controlled and powered by that as well. Now I don't keep it on for more than an hour because they feel like they're heating up, but it works really, really well as a ambient light. Now we're talking about lights, I have an Ikea light. Um, this is a desk lamp. Uh, my parents bought this one, I believe it was about 20 to 30 pound. Uh, it's, su it's been such a good one. They went to Ikea and picked it up for me and it's, it's really gorgeous. I'm looking at it now, it's fantastic. Um, and just below it hangs a, uh, a pasty with a seagull, which looks great. For those who don't know, pasty is like a, a delicacy around where I live. Uh, and I also have a plant pot as well. Uh, it's a fake plant pot, but it just gives a bit of relaxation to it. And uh, I'm not sure why it just makes it feel more green. Uh, mainly because I'm against a wall, so it maybe just adds a bit of colour to it. Um, I also have these clip-on cables along the side of the unit because uh, I used to store all my cables up there and hang them, which I uh, occasionally can do. Now, I also have an Amazon Alexa or Echo on the uh, actual spot as well. Um, it works pretty well and I review skills on it, um, but the Newton team got me that one. Now moving down to the bottom of things, I also have this cable tie box, uh, which is actually Becca's idea. She was like, the cables are so messy. And I was like, we probably need to get something. Um, so I found this one on Amazon. I'll include the link in the description, but it actually has been a neat way to keep all the cable ties uh, away. Uh, and we even charge our toothbrush is here. Um, and it's actually a neat way to do that. I also have this um, Yeti microphone and pop mic, which I use for recording and I'm actually using it now. Uh, it's mainly for recording purposes. It was a big investment. I think it was about 99 to 100 quid. Um, and it actually is a big investment for me, but it actually has paid off to my content quality, I think, um, once I learn how to use it, of course. And I also got this Amazon metal laptop stand. It's probably the worst purchase that I have, but sometimes it gives me a break um, for my neck uh, and just gives me a bit of relaxation. Now, uh, the area around, uh, just below the units, I actually use for my cables and easy to grab items. So this is almost like my key area, my watch area, my phone area, my just everything else. And I still tease down here when I'm working on uh, a ground base. Uh, and it's quite a neat area for that. Now, I store my bag next to it. I recently got a new bag. I believe it's from Spiral. It was only 15 quid, but it was such a good upgrade. Uh, I had a previously good bag, but it just slowly deteriorated. I think this one will, but it just, it feels more suited for the amount of items I have there. And the chair next to it, I either used to sit down on or to put my clothes out in the morning. Now, in terms of a desk setup, it is pretty simple, but hopefully that gave you a nice overview. I'll include everything in the description below so you guys can check all the lovely stuff out there. But let me know in the comments what modifications would you make to my desk. Um, and also, I'd love to hear what your desk is like. So feel free to uh, share with me uh, in the Facebook group because I'd really love to see all of that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscription button and hopefully uh, you can share your desk very soon with me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.